Hey everybody, I'm going to show you today how you can insert YouTube videos into your um, Google Slides or Google Forms activities for your students to complete and it's a very simple process. So right now I'm working in Google Slides and I have a lesson ready for multiplying and I'm creating arrays with multiplication. Um, so far I already have video directions inserted in this activity. Um, but what I would like to do at the beginning for some of my lower students is I want them to have a video reminder of how to create an array before they get ready for independent practice. And this is an activity that my students would do whenever I'm pulling small groups. So it keeps them engaged. So the first thing that I would do is insert a blank slide into my presentation. Um, I've already been to YouTube and I found a really great lesson from Mr. Kinney's virtual lessons. Um, I've already screened it to make sure that it is appropriate for my students um, and it teaches the same rigor in the same way that I taught how to, um, how to make an array. So um, it's a really great video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on share. And I'm going to grab this URL here by copying it. I'm going to go back to my slideshow and go to insert and we're going to go to video. From here the YouTube link box automatically pops up so I'm just going to paste my URL and click search and there's my video. I click it and I click select and so now this video is embedded into my slideshow for my students to watch. Now one thing that you need to keep in mind, when my students are working through my lessons, they keep it in this view format. However, for them to watch the video, they have to go to present mode. So what I usually do is I'll do a little text box and type, remember if you want to watch video, click on the present button at the top right corner of your screen. <clears throat> Stretch that out a little bit, move it up under the video, and so when my students come, they can click on the present, and then from there, they can click play and the video class, will play. Okay, so that's just a great way for my students to have a little extra to do while I'm teaching small groups or again remind the students of the lesson before we um, before they get ready for independent practice. Hold tight and we'll do another lesson on how to do this with Google Forms.